Hello, everybody. My name is Markiplier, and welcome back to Outer Wilds. <laughs> Boogers. <laughs> you know, seriously, though, why hasn't Mark played Outer Wilds? He would fucking love this game. <laughs> Like, I could see him, like, like with his ADHD getting, like, very frustrated at it, but also, like, he fucking loves space. He would love this game. I don't understand how he hasn't played it. It's seriously baffling to me. I just got a Twitch notification. I'm like, oh, what do we want to do? <laughs> fucking stupid. <laughs> <laughs> me too, buddy. Um, yo, our friend's already here. Let's go. Uh, what's up, my dog? Uh, all right, let's start the game. Get that sweet, sweet banjo music going. That sounded weird. It is banjo music, but it's cooler than that. Kazooie music, too. To what? Kazooie? Banjo and Kazooie. Oh. You should feel bad. I should. <laughs> but I don't. I have no remorse. Why should I? <laughs> Alright. Oh, I need to stream to you. There you go. Can you see it? Yes. Cool. I love this opening so much. Alright, let's jump right in. See, it's just so good. It's just such great music to just vibe to. weird watching my stream on the other monitor because like I see it with like some delay but like relatively little but yeah. then like I know like after having stream streamed for like an hour or two it's gonna be like significantly far behind like a couple minutes I think it's very rarely a couple minutes but <clears throat> it it gets pretty bad for me I don't know how it is for really else, but <clears throat> yeah. I don't, maybe, maybe it's... I, I wonder if that's just the additional strain on your computer. <laughs> yeah, it could be. Because usually for me, it's only like, oh, maybe 30 seconds at most. Alright. Alright. There are no entries we didn't visit last time. I think the last thing we did last week was look at the ship's log, so that's not terribly surprising, but... Yep. Uh, so I like believe... We're booking it to the Sunless City. The Sunless City? Out... Yeah. Okay. We gotta figure out the, uh... The Indigo Fish thing. Oh. I... <laughs> Sitting back down! <laughs> All the blood ran to my head. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Which one? <laughs> um... David! <laughs> And end up with half of our ship on Adel Rock. <laughs> <laughs> that was uh, that was a good time, wasn't it? All right, where are we going for this again? Uh, Sunless City. So it's over by the uh, the light there. Oh yeah. Is the escape pod? Mm -hmm. Are you gonna quick time event me again? I'm tempted to. <laughs> no, I'm 
No, because at this point, like, the, the I think last time I did, because we'd only been to it once, and it had been a little while, I think, like, yeah. we went a whole session without going back. It was, like, two or three whole sessions, but yeah. Was it? Or was it, like, yeah, two it was or three a while. weeks? Um, I'll just assume you know the way, because you, you, even with the, me making you do it again, you knew the way. Although, maybe, I was going to say... <laughs> I'm like, I'm really good at following directions. I was like, maybe you know the way better than I do, because I started to leave and I was like, wait a minute, I was like, I think this is the wrong direction. The cactus. Oh fuck! Come here. <laughs> it was a joke. I'm laughing. <laughs> Good, you're the only one who will. <laughs> At you, but still. Yeah, fair. Deserved. All right, we are here. All right. High Shrine District, Iron Two Lab Trailhead, Stepping Stone District, Anglerfish Overlook District. To the Anglerfish Overlook District. Where to? There's stuff there. Here. I think there was something lit up down here too. I think it was just an elevator that took you up. Yeah, well where do you want to go? <laughs> you didn't answer my question. Uh, any of it. Explore. Let's see if you are correct about the elevator. Yes. Shut up. <coughs> uh. Man, I'm dead. I think we've explored some of this before. Yeah. And I think it was a stepping stone district that led to. You want me to go to the stepping stone district then? Yeah. Okay. Get out of here. We should start with the lower districts anyway, because we have less time to explore them. That's true. Okay. So, high energy lab trailhead. Just that very bottom part down there. I don't know if there's anything down there you actually want to explore. I don't think so. Okay. Bruh. What are you doing? This is the. Yeah, okay. I lit up this bit down here. Yeah. Specifically, that door is what I'm interested in, because that was. That, yeah. That one? Yep. Where does that lead? Stepping stone cave. Door. Wow, real quiet. See a blue glowy? You don't like this, do you? I don't. Yeah, I didn't think so. <laughs> I have a fairly high amount of trust with Ember Twin. Mm -hmm. And I feel like it won't violate that trust. But on the off chance that it does... I'm going to close your stream. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well I can see the sandy bottom. Like a day at the beach. There's 
there's stairs over here. I like stairs. Stairs and torches. I can see now. Let's just back down where we were. Door! Hello. Are we playing the fossil fish game tonight? I fed the fossil fish a new lantern. If you go to Stepping Stone Cave, the entrance to the fossil fish cave is easy to see now. Gratitude, Solanum. It's good you're small enough to climb in through the hole at the anglerfish overlook. I'm still small enough. The, no, these kids' voices are not going to be fucking different. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It won't be for long. Mom and Dad are tall, so you and I will be tall, too. I feel like we've been here. Possibly. I said something about feeding the fish a new lantern. Reading the fossil fish cave to play the game. If you're too big to climb through the anglerfish overlook hole... You'll have to go the long way, but it isn't far. Go to Stepping Stone Cave, then up and into the Fossil Fish Cave. I tried to get the Fossil Fish through Stepping Stone Cave, but I couldn't find the entrance. Where is it? Tad can't fit through the Anglerfish Overlook hole anymore because it grew bigger. He's taller than Levy now. Who cares? Ilex is still tallest. Remember to feed the Fossil Fish first. If you go to the Anglerfish Overlook and throw light into his mouth, he'll show you the way. What? Okay. Uh, no, I, I heard it. Okay. <laughs> Want me to go? I guess back to the overlook. Which I think is like right above us. Yeah, I think so. Yep. Anglerfish fossil overlook. Did we ever go up, up we these go. stairs? I don't think so. This is amazing! Look inside the cave! How did this come to rest here? We haven't encountered others in these caves. I think this is a rare find. Coolies. An update. We need to find a way inside quickly, Milleray, because when I returned there to search for an entrance to the cave, there were children playing on the specimen. From what we can see, Coolies and I believe the specimen must be very old indeed. Imagine what we might learn if we could examine it. We both agree it's unlikely this dry planet is this horror's place of origin, especially considering what we observed during the vessel's evacuation. Clearly this hole is too small for it to have fit through. Hypothesis, there's another entrance to this cave. If there is, Coleus and I will find it. We can't leave valuable information undiscovered. Hello! War. What the dog doing? Well, it is definitely a fossil. That's not alive. Yeah. That is creepy as hell, though. What the hell is this fucking scout doing? There you go. That is so fucking ominous. Right? Here. <laughs> I don't know if that's any better, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, it's not. I think it said to Is there a way to get in there? Uh, we can't fit through the hole here. Yeah, I think it said to feed him the light. And then go to step... Feed him a lantern. I mean, that's a lantern, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, it's bright. Go back to Stepping Stone Cave, I think is what it said. Balls. Oh, we need to get some air first, too. I don't know if there's fuel around here. Yeah, whatever. We just gotta book it. Uh, I think it's the other. I think there's a different cave. Which cave? It said there was another. Uh, so the kids mentioned a different cave, and that they couldn't find it through Stepping Stone Cave. Uh, what other door then? They said fish, uh, fossil fish cave. It might not be a door. Maybe it's one of the buildings. Oh, this is the thing. Again. I guess you can check. Meeting in the fossil fish cave to play the game if you're too big to climb through the hole. You have to go a long way, but it isn't far. Go to Stepping Stone Cave and then up okay. to the fossil fish cave. Never mind. Okay, yeah, you're right. Ooh, we gotta go fast. 
Yep. I do not wish to be crushed again. The sounds. Um. Hmm. We may already be too late. I'm not finding a way. Oh! Oh! Hey! -o! That's fine. That's All fine. Right. Reading time. Whoever was it when we ended last time is the anglerfish. Rule change. The anglerfish now has to wear a blindfold and do not peek. Why are we changing it? It's too hard if you can't see anything. Aunt Pie says real anglerfish are blind, so you have to wear a blindfold. The rule stands. Rule update. It's okay if younger kids don't wear the blindfold when they're it. The rest of us will still wear it for scientific accuracy and to make the game more even. The rest of us, the little fish, line up against one wall. When the anglerfish says go, the little fish sneak across to the other side. If the anglerfish catches you, you're eaten. Last little fish to be caught is the new anglerfish. The old anglerfish gives the new anglerfish the blindfold and becomes a little fish. It's... Hide and seek slash tag? I guess. What else can we explore in here? If anything. Well, I don't have any more. Oh, oh wait! Well, I think that's our only salvation. I hate to break it to you, buddy. When we're out of fuel, I can't really lift off as much. Oh. Hmm. I think we have to go back down and hope, uh, hope we don't get crushed. Full send it? Oh dear. Barf, 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 barf. Barf, 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 barf. Barf, 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 barf. Maybe this was a mistake. The ceiling is rapidly getting closer. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> squishy. <laughs> you know, that other thing out of the sand was rising. <laughs> Maybe if we just stayed in the cave, we would have been fine. Yeah, I, was, I had the same thought, but it was already too late. That was unfortunate, running out of fuel. <gasps> Alright, shipload done. That was a quick first life. My children used to play a game here. One player was the anglerfish and wore a blindfold. The rest of the children, the little fish, lined up against one wall. When the anglerfish said go, the little fish had to sneak across to the other side. The blindfold rule was added because real anglerfish are blind. Hmm. Alright. So how do we abuse them being blind? It doesn't say there's anything more to explore there. Yeah. So, you know, my guess is we have to navigate the red area in Dark Bramble. Could be. Um, we can review what there, it says there is more to explore. There's more to explore here. And it's on the city. Um, there's no more to explore here than on my grave, which I think is in Dark Bramble. This is one of the first things we found, I want to say. Still 
don't know enough about the vessel. Yeah, wait, hold on, which one's that escape pod? The one that connects to Nomai Grave? Escape pod 3. Three Nomai escape pods crashed in our solar system, we launched from something called the vessel, which was badly damaged. From escape pod 3, it detected two distinct beacons from the vessel as if it was in two locations at once. Yeah, so that's the Dark Diamond one? Yeah. Well, I mean, I think that's where we gotta go. Back to hell? Yep. So we know they're blind, but they can hear. <clears throat> or smell us. I doubt that, though. Yeah. Hearing seems to be the more obvious one. So that being said, uh. You might want to watch out for the sun. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Uh. It's too late for us. <laughs> <laughs> that was a. That was a short life. <laughs> I'm sick of this shit. I'm flying into the fucking sun. I mean. I got. You gotta imagine, like, if you were stuck in a time loop, like. Probably wouldn't you at one point? <laughs> <laughs> Just to see what it's like. Yeah, right? Like, didn't you ever see Groundhog Day? Probably fucking agonizing. <laughs> Probably. Did you ever watch Groundhog Day? Uh, I don't think I have. You don't think you have? No. Oh, Groundhog Day is a classic. Um... Yeah, it's why whenever people start talking about time loop stuff, they always bring up Groundhog Day. The the storyline is that it's um, Bill Murray plays a a uh, I think he's a reporter. Um, and he is very poor mannered and kind of hates his life and his job. It's, you know, it's Groundhog Day, so it's February 2nd, so very, very early in the winter, and he is in Punxsutawney, Pennsylvania, to report on Groundhog Day, um, and he's, like, not excited for it at all, and he wakes up super early in the morning to make sure that he's there for it on time, and he just has a f absolutely awful day, and then he gets, uh, stuck in a time loop. Like, he wakes up, and it's the next morning, or it's the same morning, and he just experiences the same day over and over and over again. Hmm. And it gets, you know, it plays with that concept. My favorite place. Into the red. Straight to the red? Yep. I forgot how much dark bramble makes the stream jitter. Because it's probably because of the fog. <laughs> fog, and if I had to guess, the way that it loads assets. Yeah. No thanks. I don't want any. So I guess we just enter it and drift our way past them. Uh, with, with the ship? Yeah. Okay. Because last time, the reason we didn't get any further was because we ran out of oxygen. True. Can't run out of oxygen in the ship.
better be jump scared. Watching me laugh like a maniac on stream and watching you crouch down. <laughs> my tiny little heart wasn't built for this. I'm not gonna lie, I did turn my volume way down because I didn't feel like dealing with it. <laughs> <laughs> They're breathing. They're breathing, and we're vibing. I wouldn't call this vibing. <laughs> Are we still moving? I think so. Yeah, look, the thing came into view. A little bit, yeah. Very slowly. Can we just book it? Because it's a different realm, right? Huh? The red thing. Like, if we go into it, it's a different place, right? Or is this... What do you want me to do? Just I'll... keep going slow. Okay. I don't want to have to fucking come back. <laughs> oh right, it's the anglerfish eggs. The breathing is a lot quieter now. The humming is a lot louder though. I now we'll be turning down stream volume to compensate. <laughs> I think that's just the, uh, music? Yeah, it is. Alright, what to do, Captain? Alright, we should be good now. What do? Oh, look around, because it's been so long that I can't remember what we're supposed to do. So we came from there, that's death, yep. let's not go back there. There's a light over there that appears to be an anglerfish, because I feel like I can see the teeth. Yeah. There's a light over there, there's a light over there. I don't know if there's any others. It's pretty disorienting in here. Um, can we look around the eggs? Yeah, those are eggs. <laughs> hmm, the floor Looks like there's a light to our floor. left. That one? Yeah. Would you like to go towards it? Slowly! Sure. That's an angler. Back up. If we can. Working on it. I feel like he may be moving towards us. I'm not, I'm not sure. Okay. I'm going to put the eggs between us and him. Good idea. <laughs> Fuck you, you want me? You're gonna have to eat your children to do it. That's fucked up. You wanna, know, right. what the you wanna know what the real fucked up part is? That wouldn't yeah. stop a lot of real animals. Yeah, I know. I think that one? Okay. Cause there was another one around here that wasn't- That one is definitely an angler. And he's very close. There he is.
We should be good to speed it up a bit. Uh, look for a distress signal. Nothing. Continue onward. That one right there? Yeah. Yeah, it's moving. To the other one we go. face when both of them are anglers. Okay. Does this signal skip work now? I doubt it would change, but... familiar a little bit what do you mean like this looks like I feel like really really similar to the last room we were just in I mean I, I don't know I guess it's kind of dark rambled all kind of looks the same but yeah like there were two lights Different path this time, I guess. Do you want to go to the angler? <laughs> well, are we sure there's only two? Or because uh, you only see two lights when you enter the thing. Uh, I don't know. Unless there's a hidden light somewhere, but I guess you want me to like, because we seem to come in like looking straight at the two lights, and this yeah. one always gets blocked off for a little bit as we get closer to it, and then it's the angler. Mm -hmm. So like, maybe another one's blocked off. 
Okay, so what, you want me to, like, go around the, the one on the left? Because that's the one that's been this, like, the seed. Yeah. Okay. So there's someone in chat. I have foolishly covered my chat. Colored bird says, hey! Is this the man we were playing TFT with earlier? Tell us, Colored no. Bird. I don't think so. Yeah, no, Arrest 7 is also here, so... Oh, okay. Hello, Colored Bird. I don't know if I recognize your name. Ooh. Okay, this is the seed. Yep. You'll never guess. I'll never guess. That's what they said. Jehudi? Yo! I should have known that! I saw that was your tag in Discord. In yeah, 1080p. That's right. I guess we go up to see if that actually is an anglerfish. Is that that one? Yeah. First, yeah. Oh fuck! I think it's an anglerfish, David. Really? No thanks. Go fuck yourself. Bastard stuck. We also seem to be stuck. It's fine. Maybe he'll forget about us. <laughs> oh, plane. <laughs> Yo, he's kind of big. What the fuck? Let us test his object permanence. <clears throat> I was gonna say shoot it into his mouth. You missed. Okay. No, detonate it. Um, I don't think I can do that. <laughs> His mouth is bigger than the fucking vine. <laughs> than the entire website of vine. Well, not that there's much left of it. I don't like the way he's schmoovin'. That's my cat when I break out the trees. <laughs> 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 Gigantic maw. Hmm. Is it just me or is this one like eight times bigger than the usual ones? It feels larger. Um... <laughs> Bounced off his face. Boink. Bozo. Oh, he ate it. He got eaten. Mm. Oh, wait, that's kind of crazy looking, actually. You see that? The inside. Like when it gets the shot of his teeth from the from the inside. Like that. Uh. Imagine that being the last thing you ever saw. What's the play, Captain? Is this Outer Wilds or Fish Doctor? <laughs> um... 
I was gonna that if we turn around, I'm just gonna get swallowed all, but that's an irrational fear. So turn around. Okay. We can slip through these. The angler fish plays League of Legends. <laughs> what? what the dog doing? <laughs> He still knows exactly where we are. Also, wait, did you see that? Oh. I don't want to go that way anymore. Look what the scout says. You look at sing wait, what? Let's see if I can head to the duplicate signal without getting eaten. <laughs> he just jammed. <laughs> You know, the only good thing to come with the sun exploding is eradicating all anglerfish from existence. True. Wait a minute, no. I didn't mean it. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> <laughs> Turn off the sun! The duplicate signal is pointing at the seed. The sun said you calm. <laughs> <laughs> Careful what I wish for, I guess. Um, do we just wait here peacefully? Yeah, I think so. Well, right. Next time we explore it, and I remember the uh, the signals go through to the distress signal way sooner. True. Oh, velocity match. Yo, what if you can match the velocity of the anglerfish and he just never catches you? <laughs> it looks so fucking goofy when all their frills are splayed out. Take me! Yo, nice anglerfish impression. <laughs> I was yawning. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to taunt him. What's up, you stupid fuck? <laughs> Incinerated. Oh yeah, solid. <laughs> oh yeah. It's all coming together. Oh yeah. Poison for Cusco. Cusco's poison. <laughs> Did you see that part of the flashback of just us staring at the anglerfish? <laughs> Fish! I do love watching Dark Bramble in slow motion, or in the rewind, because you go through it so slowly that it actually like makes sense. It looks like stop motion. Rather than like a slideshow. Dark Bramble makes my heart go in stop motion. <laughs> True. Uh, nothing new in the log. Back we go, this time we use the signal stick. Back to hell we go. Distress bacon. Gonna need me some distress bacon. three! <laughs> Gonna need me some distress bacon after going through Dark Bramble again.
you know, like my my two number one fears are space and the deep ocean. And so when you just take a deep ocean creature and put it in space, I fucking hate you. <laughs> like, why did the devs of this game have a personal vendetta against me? <laughs> <laughs> I bet that scene in Finding Nemo fucked you up as a kid, huh? The anglerfish? Well, that, and also, like, when they just, like, stare out over, like, they call it the, the overlook or the drop-off, I think is what they called it, the drop-off. Yeah, as a kid, it didn't really affect me, because the unknown wasn't scary to me. <laughs> then. That's weird. It was, it's scarier to you now than it was then. It's very interesting. Yeah. Also, Finding Nemo was one of my favorite movies as a kid. Alright, signal scope time. That one. If I recall correctly, I think we can just skirt along the outer edge here, and I don't think we get anywhere close to any bastards. Austin just texted me and said, 8 Void is busted as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> So you turn into an just... invoker main, I turn into a warp. Challenger Callista. Uh yeah. Yeah, he said he just got uh he, he just won a game because he got uncontested Baron. Yeah, I'll I'll do that for sure. I turned into a Callista Callista main and then he turned into a void main. <laughs> Which I suppose kind of makes sense, because I think it was the first comp you, like, really played. War? I can't wait to get through the game and then look up the little tidbits about Dark Bramble. Like, I want to know what the purpose of the Red Room and the fucking infinite loop of a seed is. <laughs> okay, so we're at the Distress Beacon. Okay. What do? Um... Let us look around, I guess? He thinks? Say what? Look around? Oh, they follow the lights? The yellow brick road? This, I remember. Yeah, I think this is the... But we are now here much sooner. Yeah, this is the Nomai Grave. It does say there's more to explore here. Yeah, rip to them, but I'm different. <laughs> what do you, Captain? Did we ever shoot a suit of, uh... Did we ever shoot a scout in there? <laughs> um... I don't know. You wanna try? Look at we ball! Just don't. <laughs> that didn't work. Nailed it. Just don't what, Captain? I was gonna say, just don't, like, hit the bodies. That's fucked up. <laughs> you guys are in the way. Hey, there we go. Oh. Duplicate signal. Hello. Did you see that? No. But I see a structure, so let's go to the duplicate signal that is 1.4 kilometers away. Yes, sir. That's sir, 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 to sir. What? What? Huh? Where? Like our old friend, Jehudi. We <laughs> we played um, with a guy. So Jehudi is one of my friends that I used to play uh, Overwatch with back in the day. Okay. 
the duplicate signals seem to be coming from the red seed. Alright. Into the red state we go. Texas. Oh. Um same same deal, just float? Yep. Okay. Float like a float like a butter, sting like a butterfly. Wait. <laughs> butter butter on a stick. Stick it in the butter. Uh <laughs> Yeah, Jehudi was uh one one of my Overwatch people. And Closing my eyes again, hold on. <laughs> we played with a uh, someone in our group who I think was Jehudi's friend even before Overwatch, from what I recall. Oh my god! Gosh! <laughs> um. Jesus, it's so loud. Um. Yeah, Jehudi's friend from, I think, before uh, we even started playing Overwatch, uh, who his username for the longest time while we were playing Overwatch was just Butts. Just B-U-T-T-S. Excellent. Um, I think someone finally eventually reported him for inappropriate name, and he was just player for the longest time. I don't think he, he ripped Butts. That's the plan! <laughs> Did he ever change? Did he ever change it from player to Hootie? I don't think he did while I was playing with you guys. He's still player to this day. <laughs> <laughs> Poor guy. I mean, I think he, I think when you get like reported for an offensive name like that, I think they do give you a free name change. So it's not like he had to pay for it and like just didn't want to. I think he was just too lazy to do it. <laughs> <laughs> nope. <laughs> Alright, I think we should be in the clear now. I don't hear them anymore. Still hear the breathing a little bit. But if you want me to move, I will. Nah, I think it's slow. I don't want to have to fucking find this place again. All right. Slow ride. Take it easy. I was playing some Guitar Hero last night. What? Okay. No, but I was just thinking of the, uh, <laughs> I caught myself listening to the Guitar Hero 3 soundtrack last night to sleep. <laughs> That's music. <laughs> You're listening to music. Yeah, the Guitar Hero 3 soundtrack is based. <laughs> Alright, we should be good now. Yeah, I agree. Some good songs. Anyway, continue. <laughs> the scout is leading us to... Nothing. There is no light over here. Oh. Secret tunnel. Secret tunnel. That's bright as fuck. This place looks cool. Ooh. Ah. Rotate. Do a barrel roll. Can we get inside? Is that a group of It's an opening. Is it a thorough one that we can actually enter from? Oh, there are skeletons. I don't know if it's big enough for the ship. Well, we don't need the ship. We're going into a ship. Fair. I also didn't see any lights when we came in, so hopefully there's no angler fishing here. Rest in peace, it dead guy. And other dead know. guy. <laughs> Start naming them. <laughs> Which way? Uh. That way, sealed off. 
Left, I guess. Left, you guess. As one of my good friends always says, left is always right. He's detected auction tank refilled. Let's go! Man, I'm dead! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, we can pick it up! I have a warp core. It, Not a functional one. I was like, it looks um, fucking busted. What? Okay, what's that thing we can lift with our eyes? That's an orb. Right? It is an orb. Lift it. It did not do anything. Fucking nothing. Worthless piece of shit. <laughs> what, what do All I right. do with you? <laughs> I can't set it down. Kiss me. Um. <laughs> <laughs> what's the purple thing below us? That? That. <gasps> okay. We can move it. I'd like to move it, move it. <laughs> Left. Didn't appear to do anything. Right. Can we get some artificial gravity in here, please? Oh, that did something. I heard. I heard something. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? I don't know, but there's an orb. Huh? Whoa! Jump scare. What happens if we? Put it on one of those. Yeah, let up. Can we light it all up? Oh. Oh, I see. We have to get the lines to match the... The what? The, the silver lines that are already there. We have to... Oh. Okay. Um... I mean, there's multiple, so. So I gotta do it for all of them? Jesus, okay. I gotta do this three times, bro. I guess I gotta go back and do it for the first one, too. No! <laughs> Move it all the way to the end of the last one because there was a it drops down. There. Now what? All right, fuck it. Let's explore the rest of the ship. This is pointless. <laughs> okay. Like there's a space down here. Oh, cool! I love space. It's so cool. Whoa! Whoa! There is like eyes in that universe. Alright, oh, uh, what's that thing say? There's a recorder to your left. Thank god. You know, that silly little instrument that makes funny noises. Felix, I'm recording now. I've never encountered anything like this. The signal the vessel is receiving appears to be older than the universe itself. Eskal, this is our first contact with anything of this nature. Everyone, prepare to warp immediately. Eskal, wait! I need more time to send an outgoing message. Shouldn't we tell another clan where we're going? We can send the message upon our arrival. This extraordinary signal appeared suddenly. 
may disappear just as quickly, and we can't lose a discovery this incredible. Focus on preparing for the warp instead. I understand. Anana, is the vessel ready to warp to the signal's approximate coordinates? The warp core is powered, but this will be a significant jump. Afterward, we'll need time to recharge the core. That shouldn't create a problem, provided we arrive at or near the signal source. Everyone, we're ready to warp! I think it did present a problem. Yeah. Alright, well... I don't think we got anything really from that. We got the ship log update, so... Cool. But let's, uh, let's head back to the hallway and take the other path. Wait, what's up here? See if we can learn anything. Oh! It's a rant. <laughs> Words! Left! And right. You said left first. Left is always right. True. <clears throat> this is Eskal's vessel. Something went badly wrong during our warp, and our vessel is mortally wounded. We need help as quickly as possible. Our vessel appears to have... Has it fused with the local environment somehow? There are vines that are now part of the vessel. It's been torn apart from inside itself. <coughs> we... We are abandoning our vessel. Any know my clans or spaceflight capable species receiving this message, I implore you, we need your help. Is this broken? Can anyone hear me? Our vessel is dying! We need immediate assistance! Fucking rip bozo. <laughs> Oof. Kana, do any know my clans whose vessels can hear this message? It's clear the universe is dying. There are fewer and fewer resources and safe places within space now, so my clan and I believe the best option is for all of our clans to stay together. If you can reach the gloaming galaxy, we found that Black Rock's suns are fairly stable, and life in the star system is comparatively thriving. We live in relative safety. If you prefer to continue exploring alone, know you will be on your own. Bromi. Kana, we're making our way to you. It's good to hear from you, Bromi. We'll watch for your vessel. Has anyone heard from Neem? His clan was on its way to our vessel, but they never arrived, and he hasn't sent any messages. I'm beginning to worry. That is unsettling. Reminds me of that old myth my grandfather used to tell, the disappearance of Eskal. Clem. I remember hearing that story as a child. One day, Eskal's vessel simply stopped responding. The other clans searched and searched, but found no trace. It was as if their missing friends had warped out of existence. Hysop. That's no myth, friends. Eskal's clan existed, and their story was real. What a curious event to have passed into myth. Our ancestors' ancestors were told that story when they were young. Are you sure it's true, Hysop? It was a very long time ago, but yes, my clan's ancestors searched for Eskal's clan for a long time, but in the end, none of them were ever seen again. It's the only time in our history a vessel has ever disappeared this way. Neem. Hi, Sop. I hope you aren't comparing Eskal's story to my clan's vessel. Neem, my friend. We feared you were gone. Not yet, we aren't, but nearly. We found trouble during our warp. The triple suns of the bright spark star system exploded, and it was only a lucky coincidence we were caught in the blast. We'll meet you soon, Kana. I'm relieved to hear your clan is safe, Neem. It's good to hear your words. Any vessels nearby, remember to be extremely cautious of potentially unstable stars. Which is most of them now. Ship log updated. Okay. To the hallway. I was just carrying the empty warp core. <laughs> yeah, well, let me set it down. All these doors. Well, never mind. Back to the room we go. Guess we're gonna fucking sit there, figure it out, and like it. <laughs> Draw a turtle. 
way down. Can we move it move back what? over to the left? The the orb that summons the thing on the floor. Okay. Hold on. Excuse us, we are experiencing technical difficulties. Try turning to the other side again. Actually, this is a good opportunity for me to refill my water bottle. I'll be right back. I'm back. Oh, he's not. Okay, I've returned. You ready? Uh, hold on, uh, apparently not anymore. Yes. Okay. Alright. Floor orb left. Floor orb. Oh. Yes. Can we move it? Okay, we can. I think it's like a distance limit. Nothing. I don't think that what happens? So we we fucked around with the thing. How uh, we find out? Two. Yeah. We fucked around the thing that was con oh. connected. Oh. Chip bug updated. Well, fuck me, I guess. Um. <laughs> okay, calling Bellinger. <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't confront you. That's bad. Um. Stop that. <laughs> All right. Are we able to lower the orb that's in the tube and see if that does anything? Now that we fucked with the thing that was connected to it. We are able to lower the orb. I'm not sure. It does if it not did do anything. anything. <laughs> it floated up by itself. <laughs> Let's go. Alright, can we bring the orb back to the other side to see if it lifts the thing again? It does. Shit balls. Actually, I guess we left the ship over there, so... Okay, let's see if we can fully connect it. Uh, no, come back, God damn it. Oh. Wait, if I just... Yeah, just move it, move it back. Okay, what do you want me to do? Like, fully connect it on the sides and down the center and everything. Okay. Um... So not like that. Fuck. No. I don't think so. Because it seems it can only be like on or off. And like when I turn it What happens if we turn the top right one off? Now turn them on? Yeah, we totally can. We just have to do it the right way. But this still isn't connected. And neither is that edge. Or that edge. So like now it's gonna go from this node. And if I do this, now it turns it off. 
like we lose all the previous connections as soon as we turn off the node. So I don't think we can connect all. Does that make sense? Yeah. Then I have no idea what we're doing. Well, we do know how to get back, I guess. <laughs> I guess we'll be able to check the ship log. True. We can't get a sneak peek real quick before. Oh, you know what? I think time stops when we're looking at the ship log, so we might as well just... Oh. I guess Doesn't not. sound like it. <laughs> I think time typically stops when you're looking at the ship's log. I guess just not right before you fucking perish. Ooh. Now, there was something interesting I noticed there. What's that? There wasn't, uh, there's more to explore here tag. Oh, on the vessel? Yeah, there was only the green tag. Are you sure? Wait, hold on. At least when we were in the ship. I don't know if that's because we were still there, or... Yeah, see, it's got the green tag. Vessel. I found the derelicts know my vessel deep within Dark Bramble. The vessel's warp core is long dead. I activate. I activated a three-sided pillar on the vessel's bridge that appears to be some sort of input device. The Nomad tried to call for help, but the vessel's outgoing message system broke during the crash. The vessel can still hear incoming messages from other Nomad vessels. Oh. Uh, the remaining. Yeah. The remaining Nomai clans are regrouping in response to the impending death of the universe. I found a recording of the original signal the Nomai encountered from the Eye of the Universe. The Nomai were worried the signal might disappear, so they warped before they could tell another clan where they were going. Nomai Grave. Uh, as five of them escape out of three, followed one of the two vessel beacons, a small dark bramble seed, where they could go no further. Could faintly hear the vessel's beacon from within the seed, but the opening was too small for a single Nomai to fit through, much less an escape pod. I was beacon was dying and would soon be gone completely. If I launch my scout into the seed, I can take photos of an enormous derelict Nomai ship. So now we just need to figure out the fucking Ashwin project. What's the thing we're missing that's not that? Black hole. Black forge. hole forge. And also there's more to explore the Sunless City. I fuck the Sunless City. <laughs> Um, well, we can't instantly go to Ash Twins. Let's go to the Sunless City, I guess. There's apparently something we... Missed on Giant Steep? Ocean Depths. I passed through the electric barrier and reached the Coral Forest at the planet's core. Oh. Oh, nothing important. That's gotta be like a weird little bug. Hmm. Alright, sorry, where did you say you wanted to go? I said we can't do Ash Twin right off the bat, so I said fuck it, let's just go to Ember Twin, let's go to the Sunless City. Back again. I'm gonna go finish it up.
that's weird when you see the like you're floating like with the planet and the planet starts moving past you. Yeah. Stops time unless the music's playing. Alright, seems before to the escape pod. David? Ah, shit. Hello? You good? Uh, I don't know. I guess my Wi-Fi fucking died for a second there. Yeah. Which is weird. Because, like, it didn't even, like, anything else, like, nothing stopped. It was just, just like, all my stuff stopped, but then, like, <laughs> it didn't ever just come back. Like, I just f forced disconnected and, oh, shit. Extremely dumb. So. It's back up now, but it's going to be in two parts. I mean, that's fine, because I think the recording keeps going no matter what. Okay. Um, same way. Uh, the... You good? Hello? Can you hear me? Oh, come on. Well, I can hear you again. Can, can you hear me sigh sighing in exasperation over how dog shit yes. my Wi-Fi is? Yes. Okay. Stabilized, maybe? Hello? Seems like it. Okay. Hello? Same as before? Yep. The, the escape pod? Yeah. Oh, I never noticed that little gauge on the right. Oh, the... That's cute. Yeah. There was a network error. Please try again. Go funk yourself. Not, well, I was gonna say not you, Twitch, but Twitch to be fair is also kind of not great. I'm bronking my logs. Unleash me. I'm back. Back again. Yes, who's back? Back again. Hearthling's back. Alright. Where have we not gone? Yeah, the fish overlook. There. Stepping stone. There. High there, because that leads to the other place. High shrine district? Don't know if we've been there. 
I feel like we have, but I don't know. I think there's one in the Hanging City, too. So maybe that's I think where that's where we were. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I don't remember this. Ghost matter. I hardly know her. Ah, fun. Open the door. Get on the door. Door. Open the door. Get on the floor. Cause the ghost matter burned you to death. Ow! Ow! Fuck! Ow! <laughs> Tell a friend. I wish I was better at like noticing stream, stream like to like chat, because comments like that I'm like I'm sure that was funny in the moment but I was not paying close enough attention and then stream lag makes it worse oh hello Solana I don't know why everyone says the eye is important they say it brought us to the solar system but is that good dad told me lots of no I died when our clan came here what if the eye wanted that to happen what if the eye isn't something good malicious The eye is for delicious. Definition? Make them know my go loco. What are you saying, bro? <laughs> can, can we open that door? Okay, cool. Wow, Luigi. <laughs> okay. Danger. Ghost matter detected nearby. Danger ops. Danger sex. Will it hurt to be? <laughs> okay, so there's a thing in there. But there's a bunch of cacti in the way. This guy said, but. we jump across anywhere? So there, it looks like. Ugh, fuck! I think we're dead. Yep. Remember how- So the answer is yes. Unfortunately, it came down to a resounding skill issue. That it did. I am, uh, good at this game. <laughs> what the fuck has Wesley been sending me? If it's Among Us, I'll kill him. Oh boy. <laughs> Take two. Hold on. Bye, I'm sending you this one. Alright, I'll, I'll look at it after stream. Yeah. <laughs> I'm firing on all cylinders today. Don't look at what the screen says. That's unimportant. I said don't look, David. <laughs> uh -huh. How are we damaged? Don't worry about it, David. What happened? Don't worry about it, David. War. <laughs> I hit a tree. It's taking off. <laughs> you hit a tree? <laughs> what part of the ship is damaged? Landing gear. Oh boy. Oh, <laughs> that's not important. Seem to land just fine. <laughs> Maybe because it wasn't that damaged.
definitely one of the first times that, well, I don't know if I should say definitely, but I think it's one of the first times I've gotten this killed. Like, resound resoundingly me. <laughs> Like, most of the time, it's like you were like, jump onto the black hole forge while it's going up. Or no, no, what was it? It was... <laughs> no, that was exactly what it was. That didn't. That one didn't get us killed, though. It was the, uh... To get to the Tower of Quantum Knowledge, I want you to... <laughs> jump out of the ship, the ship and fly as up it's into it. Moving. Yeah. <laughs> Forgetting that there's the gravity of a black hole underneath us. <laughs> <laughs> Not like this. <laughs> okay, we are back. I'm gonna go. Number twelve, cock. Huh? Uh -huh. Hi, Shrine District. And oh. Hearthling said, let there be light. Correct. Door. Stuck. <laughs> Door stuck! Door, Door stuck! stuck. <laughs> Move, son! Get out the way! Okay. <laughs> Surely it doesn't happen twice. <laughs> and before it happens twice. <gasps> we can jump up into it. Whee! Touch the bullet. Let's go. Be welcomed in this place. This shrine is a space to reflect on what brought us to the star system. The signal from the eye. We observed the eye signal in our travels and followed it here to find its source. What we know is this. The source of the signal, which we have chosen to call the eye of the universe, is older than this universe itself. The rest we have yet to learn. Well... And <laughs> enter and open your mind to its possibilities. If the eye called to us, why won't it reveal itself? Why is it so difficult to locate it? Did something happen to it? Did the signal stop? Does the eye no longer desire to be found? Perhaps this isn't the eye's choice. The eye may not be able to communicate with us more than it already has. Oh. Hey, look! Oh, wait, that's cool! That is cool. That's cool as fuck. Is the eye natural or artificial? Maybe someone built it. Well, if it's older than the universe, I doubt it. The eye is older than the universe itself. How could something exist before its creator? Real. It could be naturally occurring, though this doesn't answer how the eye could be as old as it is. Did the eye deliberately call out to us by sending the signal, or did we hear the signal by coincidence? We could be seeing meaning where there is none. Suppose the signal was produced incidentally. Does that mean the eye is any less important, though? Perhaps the eye wanted to be found. Could it be sentient? Maybe it chose us. Does the eye desire something from us? Could it need us in some way? Maybe it doesn't have to be us. Correct. That's where I come in. <laughs> fucking right. dead-ass nerds. I think we get the fuck out of here when we die. <laughs> Not again! <laughs> Wait, can we get out of here? Survey says, fuck. Survey says, no. Perish. Oh wait, there's a big hole in the wall there. Okay, yeah. Love that game show. Okay. Is there anything else up here? Uh, I mean, I think we can go further out, but... Yeah, we bit, we were already in here. Woo! 
Yoink. Yoink. Tree! These two here are like fish eggs. Phantom? What are you talking about? Up we go. Up. Go up. Door. Gravity can. Okay, we have been here. Yes, I remember this. I think we have. Well, let's get to the surface, which is where the gravity cannon is. Uh, I would hope. Not the cactus. That's right, because there's this little hole right here by the gravity cannon. Yeah. We could use that to get to the sun the city faster. To the <laughs> ship. Rest in peace. We're done with the sunless city anyway. Um don't do the fucking ship. Why is it all the way over there? Wherever there is. Stuck old, old news. Oh, is is that that's the song the guy's singing at the beginning of that clip? With the random guy just knifing him. Into the sheep. Chip lock. All right, what's new? The nomad traveled to the solar system in pursuit of a signal from something older than the universe itself. They named the source of the signal the Eye of the Universe. Man, fucking pointless. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, we, the little perfectionist, dumb thing is not there anymore. So there we go. We it's done. We did it. We explored the sun, the city. <laughs> Alright, whatever. Well? I'm butthurt. Um... <laughs> Ashtwin? Yeah, Ashtwin. Fifteen more minutes of absolutely fucking nothing but us running around like a headless chicken. Sounds like a good way to close out the stream. <laughs> Wait! <laughs> Fool! What, what the fuck are you doing, ho? Jesus. Bonk. That's the pole. That is sand pillar of death. We Whoa! Which of these towers have we been through? All of them. Alright, I've decided that maybe... Maybe Ash Twin isn't the play. <laughs> and what is the play, my dude? Oh, there's only one other place we haven't been. Black Hole Forge. True. So, what, you want me to get the ship and go to Little Hollow? Yeah, still gotta figure out how to get there. So.
That's not good. <laughs> okay. I was under control the entire time. In, in control. I did not, under did control. not want to be a, a pancake. Slingshot myself into space. I was worried you were gonna slam yourself into the side of the ship. <laughs> nah. Alright. To hit old Brello. That's why. It's on the other side of the sun. I was like, why don't I see it? It is there. Son. Bye, Dad. <laughs> we never went to the lantern, I don't think. Is there a reason to go there? Did find another fiery ball of magma to drown yourself in? <laughs> I don't know. I just never thought a hot ball of death would be a... I mean, there was something on the sun! Fuck you. <laughs> we don't bring up the sun station. <laughs> Why not? What's wrong with the sun station? Alright, where am I going? Uh. Smoke. Sploosh. Where? We go into the hanging city. Right. Um, that's the bridge for it right there. Yep. Look at that. Who even needs a landing camera, bro? I'm too fucking good. Uh, fuel. I mean... Just in case. Yeah, I mean, as long as we're here. That's a good point. Alright, start the, start the music again. Let's try this again. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Let's do this one last time. <laughs> Fall straight in the black hole. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um... Like so, uh, thing we read here. all of those, and we went down to the Black Hole Forge controls. This is Top. School District, Meltwater yeah. District, Ice Shrine District, and Black Hole Forge District. Okay, turn around. We're gonna go that way. Thar. Thar. Like Thar, like Thar. What now? Up. Uh, yeah, up. Damn. Garbage's not quite as light here. As it is. No! Just go in the building. I don't want to take the stairs. I have a jetpack. <laughs> hey, scroll! Haven't we read all these, though? I don't know. Actually, no, I can tell you we read. I mean, I'm sure, but I, I was literally just watching the recording before the stream. I know we read this one. Okay, and then we can fuck off. To retrieve the warp core from the vessel, require a return to Dark Bramble. Many could know my perished. Such an anglerfish fossil, we could avoid the anglerfish entirely. I remember, because you said, you're like, you know, I didn't think we were going to have to learn anything from the anglerfish. Some yep. Some kids were playing with. Okay. Remember that? Alright. Yep. I remember. Let's go. God damn it! I can't believe you've done this. That's wrong. It's off fuck, David. Yeah, I know.
I think so too. But... No. Yeah, we have. Down we go, if we can. There, yeah, we can. Yoink. Okay, back to the Black Hole Forge control. That's got to be worth something. Ah, fuck. Okay, so now that that's up there. Getting us a uh, up close and personal look at the black hole, you know, because yeah. we're trying to get, we're trying to look at the black hole forge. Forge these nuts in your mouth. <laughs> Shut up! I don't need your sass today, boy. <laughs> Great. <laughs> oh yeah, why don't you come pilot the game? Oh wait! <laughs> Deal. You should be near the field, field spark, yeah. Somehow back to the hanging city. Unless we have to get to the black hole forge from the surface somehow, in which case I don't know. But that would make sense. So to the ship. Yeah, the ship's right underneath the black hole forge. So. Ships in there. Black Hole Forge is right over there. So let's. Do you want me to just that way. fucking leap of faith it? No. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> I want you to actually go over there, please. Actually go over where? Like walk over there? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so that's this. Yeah, All we're right. Back, we're back where we started. No, that's fine. Um, go inside that building. Th this one. Yes. Is there a way we can? Oh, that's it. Yeah, hanging cities below us with this one. That one's been destroyed. That one only goes up. I'm sure. I mean, I can, you know, uh, I don't know. I feel like you wouldn't be leaning into it if it was the right answer. Wait, what? I feel like you wouldn't be leaning into it if it was the right answer. Oh. Well, now you're meta gaming. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want me to do? Fuck it. Fine. 
We ball. Let's go. <laughs> I fell into that so many times. Yeah, I, I, it's part of the Outer Wilds experience is falling in the black hole at like every third stop at this planet. Try, uh, try every stop. <laughs> nah, we got this. Ow. I'd say we're fine. Our bones no longer have faith in us, but hey, it worked. Pray, bones. Okay. Wait, do you just want me to go in the ship? Yeah, sure. Because the... Fuck. The Black Hole Forge is there. Yeah. So it's like also, right... It's like right underneath here. Yeah. What what are the what's that up there on like the hillside? This? Yeah. I think we explored this like one of the first times we fell through the black hole. Came back. Maybe, but it's been a while. And uh any lead's a good lead. Phantom moon sometimes greets us in the night sky. Your thoughts interest me. Playful moon is a much like a violent friend. Volcanic sometimes leaves friend for yeah, nights of time. We, we've seen this. Yeah. Also not important because we know everything about the Phantom moon. Speaking of which, it's gone. And it's gone. There's just I feel like there's got to be a way to weasel through the cracks in the ground somewhere. I mean, we have. It's a place you can warp to from a different area. But we haven't warped to it. Yeah. So where does it warp from? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, we've tried flying the ship in there before and it doesn't work. Yeah. There's no, like, cracks in the glacier. Because so, the pole doesn't fall in. So, I mean, it looks like... Like, the, that teleporter looks like our best guess. Yeah. But the question is, where does it teleport from? I think we learned a grand total of nothing on that last line. We learned that, uh... Our bones hurt when you fall a f great distance. To be fair, that fall could kill a man, and I made sure it didn't. Yeah. What do you think? Uh, I think we have to look around for a teleporter. You shall float in space and ponder your thoughts.
right as I sat down, I heard the controller <laughs> vibrating. What the hell happened? <laughs> Did we just fall into the sun? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So I oh yeah, I can see it on the stream. We definitely need to raise the forge. Okay. So let's head back there and raise it. Raise the roof. And then see, because like all the all the teleporters. The go to places are on Ash Twin. Yeah, so. so maybe, maybe there isn't one we haven't gone through? Maybe. Or maybe if. Maybe one of the ones we've gone through has a different outcome if we've raised the thing? I don't know why that would be the case, but. It's worth fucking trying. Because we've never gone through that one after raising a forge. Because I remember, we, we did at one point end up on Brittle Hollow, I think, right? Through one of those teleporters? I mean, every time we fall through the black hole, the white hole station teleporter gets us back here. Yeah, but I feel like we were on one on Ash Twin. I just, I don't know. We've been on Ash Twin so many times that it's all blending together. Right. through the surface to the bridge like we've been doing. Uh, oh, maybe I lied. Ha! <laughs> Ain't that convenient. Also, now we have information on why all the stars are suddenly exploding, right? You know. The universe is fucking dying. The universe is dying. <laughs> um, side note, uh, that still doesn't explain why the fuck Brittle Hollow just suddenly decides to fall apart at the start of the time loop. What do you mean? Like, it only starts falling apart at the start of the time loop. I don't know, it said something about the universe being unstable now, or like the stars being unstable. Guess, but... That's the stars. <laughs> this is a rock. Around a black hole. I mean, okay, if you want to be real scientific about it for a second, like, it w if a star were to be approaching the end of its lifetime, it would expand greatly, like, as you see when the star gets bigger. Yeah. Red, and then, like, it would be... It would vastly change the way the star is emitting energy. So... Um... It's not, like terribly far-fetched to believe that, like... What?! Just a flesh wound. Keep going. No! I have to fix my ship. Fuck are you. I mean, do you know where we're going anyway, Bozo? I mean, even if I did, it's somewhere on Ash Twin, so we're gonna have to wait anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we? There we go. Space is disorienting, bro. Yeah, there's nothing to keep you, like, grounded. I can see the top of one of the towers. Top of two of the towers. What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? Oh, it's the it's the tower that's broken in the middle. Okay. And you can go to the left and right. Gotta outpace Ember Twin. We gotta race it. We can at least land somewhere. Nah. We're in a race for our lives. <laughs> 
We're gonna lap it and then get sucked into the Ash Twin anyway. <laughs> or the Ember Twin. <laughs> Don't put your ship on the equator, please. <laughs> Doink. We're gonna lap it and then the Ash Twin is gonna be like, <laughs> You still lose? <laughs> We're going back down, right? Okay, cool. I told you, I'm in complete control, bro. Look at that, we almost did a full loop to our ship. Yeah, that was actually impressive. <laughs> Thank you. We should head to the equator, though, and, uh, wait for the towers to... Oh, that was too far. I didn't realize I passed the equator. But it's probably a good thing I did, in retrospect. Yeah. I guess now we just wait for the uh, the towers to be slowly revealed. To show their fugly faces. I'm always scared you jump just a little bit too high. Trust me. Oh! Um. Nah, 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 nah. We're fine, see? Okay. The only thing that makes me n more nervous than fucking Dark Bramble is your flight. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, there's a tower. What the fuck, suddenly? Not this one. Yeah, this is the Sun Station one. Yeah, we've been in here a several too many too many times. War. That is so trippy. Right, what? So, uh just looking at that thing that we did. Yeah, stop that. This thing? <laughs> Yeah, I let's let's focus on the planet. This is trippy. <laughs> what the other planet in orbit around us? Yeah, but also the sun at the same time was like fucking with my head. Oh. Okay. Not yeah. this one. I was about to yell at you for landing on that cactus. <laughs> Well, I didn't, so there. Yeah, I know. Fight me. Okay, swear it, bitch. <laughs> Let's go, I'm pulling out my Anivia. What? <laughs> Whoa! We can fall through the tiny hole! But we cannot... <laughs> Wait. Boink. I want to fall. I want to go out through the tiny hole. Fuck. Alright. Oh, that's not how these things work. Keep waiting for the sand to lower. Like this? 
This looks interesting. Have we been in here? <laughs> Where's Bio? He's right there, Cloudy. He's... Who is this man? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Cloudy. Been a long time. God, did you oh. guys? Door! Oh. We did it! Hacker voice, I'm in. Oh, wait, wait, actually. We're kinda low on fuel, so I'm gonna go refill. Slick! You've been hit with a high with three eyes. <laughs> Must be the mic upgrade. Oh, you're saying I sound different. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> well, wait. it worked. Yeah. Wait, this is it, isn't it? Yeah. See, I fucking told you. When you last saw him, he was but a boy. <laughs> Alright, let's explore. Turn warp to try to step on orange. Okay. I don't want to go back. <laughs> Black hole forge left 30 meters. Okay. Okay. Yeah, god, when was yeah. the last time I would have played with you guys? I think I quit Overwatch and like... Alright. 2019, 2018, maybe even. So that was words. Wait, were there? Where? Over here? Aunt, um, there's a little. No. Oh. What? I'm seriously. There. Was... Right there. In front of us? Yes. No. Right. <laughs> oh. Holy shit! <laughs> Morning. Be cautious near the boarding area while the black hole forge is in operation. You you've gone up so well. place look at this thing statue oh hey yeah Astro projection stone. stone root where am I taking this first black hole core and where am I taking the remaining cores once they're ready Clary all of the warp towers are being constructed on ash twins so the black hole core the black hole cores will go there my gratitude in that case, Poke, Clary, I'm leaving for delivery. I'll send Yarrow your regards. Poke, I'll return to the forge shortly. I'm going to catch up to Root and help him deliver the first core to Ash Twin, just to make sure Yarrow receives it. Of course you are. Why is Poke a stuck up bitch? <laughs> <laughs> the white hole cores are for the warp receivers. Each of the six receivers are being constructed at different locations, so those deliveries will be a greater pain in your cervical spine. Hello! Uh, Cloudy, this is David. Uh, David, this is Cloudy, one of my... Jude, same same group as uh, Jehudi. Yeah, I figured. Um, the, the tower designs in the high energy lab on Ember Twin reveal each receiver's location. Ask Yero, he is familiar with them. Alright, how to ask Yero? <laughs> I don't know if we can. Regarding the warp towers on Ash Twin, does each tower have to be perfectly aligned with the center of the astral body to which it's tuned? I enjoy precision as much as the next Nomai, but if, for example, a tower's base were to shift even slightly, the, the tower might no longer align with its astral body. More accurately, I enjoy precision as much as the next Nomai, provided the next Nomai is not poke. <laughs> Just throwing shade. Base, all my homies hate poke. <laughs> We don't need the alignment angle to be exact. It only needs to be within 5 degrees of the astral body center. Of note, this gives us a slightly longer warp window. I imagine this window will last roughly several seconds. As such, any Nomai stepping onto the warp platform during the active window will be immediately warped. We will need to be careful around the platform for the duration of the time it's active to avoid accidental transportation. What the fuck is that? A syringe, a pen, an EpiPen? 
Definitely an EpiPen. It's turning. Like the thing. Five hundred dollars. Um. What? <laughs> Nothing. Devil. Devil. Oh, there's a scroll over there, but I want to see. What happens when it hits the light? And it's just an example of how long of a window you have. It's like two seconds. <laughs> Not even. Scroll! Gip. Of note, Yero believes he spotted a flaw in the warp tower designs, namely that one of the warp towers in Ash Twin will never activate because its warp receiver will never align overhead. Does your romantic interest think a warp tower's alignment point is its receiver? Does he not know- wait. Uh, does your romantic interest think a warp tower's alignment point is its receiver? Does he not know that a warp tower always aligns with the center of its corresponding astral body? That isn't an unreasonable belief, given the receiver does have to be located on, or in close orbit around, the relevant astral body. I seem to recall that was your understanding of warp technology at first. No, Yero understands the distinction. He likely doesn't realize the hourglass twins are so close together they function as a single astral body, with a shared alignment point in between them. Hmm. Is it a projection stone? I think there was a thing outside. Yeah, there was. Wait, isn't this all gravity stone? What happens if I... Not oh. much, apparently. They're very kind to my head this way. <laughs> For once. I'll take it when I can get it. Protection stone. I have good news, Yarrow. The advanced warp core is ready to be installed in the central chamber of Astwin. No, it isn't. Fuck off, Poke. <laughs> is everything well at the forge? The core's durability could still be improved. I need more time. Ignore her, Yarrow. The core is finished, and if my sister tells you otherwise, then she will be finished as well. Based. Don't... <laughs> Don't worry, love. Poke is only nervous. The core is extraordinary, and her design work is beautifully clever. I'm intrigued, love. Everyone here working on the Ashtwin project is, is, is excited to see it. Pi is beside herself with joy. Mm, <laughs> Not this shit again. <laughs> They're staring at me. Wait. This is somewhere on the bridge. What bridge? On Ashtwin. Okay. Alright, let's head to the ship. Yes, sir. Uh, okay. Which means we'll have to head back to Ashtwin. So we can, uh, we can probably take the teleporter back, right? Yeah, because the ship is 13, 13 kilometers away and further. <laughs> yeah, trying to find the uh, the opposite of approaching was also hard in my head. <laughs> oh, wait, what is this? Oh. Away to the surface. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh. Back we go. This guy's actually walking all the way back to the center. Now you don't use your jetpack? Do you want me to use my jetpack? You're not gonna go that far. Alright. Wait. Oh. Uh, I think we've read this before. Okay. Man, that shit is loud. 
Oh, because the pillar of sand just passed over us, that's why. Alright, follow it. Follow it? Yeah, but not too closely. Wait, did you see you wanted me to go back to the ship, or...? Yeah, let's head to the ship real quick. I was like, did I damage the ship? Log. Lipshog. Black Hole Forge. A warp tower's alignment point is not its warp receiver. Rather, a warp tower always aligns with the center of its corresponding astral body. The warp receiver must be located on or in close orbit around the relevant astral body. The hourglass twins are so close together they function as a single astral body with a shared alignment point in between them. All of the warp towers were being constructed on the Ash Twin, while the six warp receivers were being constructed at different locations. I know my name to Poke successfully forged an advanced warp core for the Ash Twin project. A diagram depicting the alignment angle between a warp tower and its corresponding astral body. Warp tower alignment angles are not exact, they only need to be within 5 degrees of the astral body center. This results in slightly longer warp windows that last roughly several seconds. Anyone stepping onto the warp platform during the reactive window will be immediately warped. And then there was another one up. Uh, Everything connects back to Ash Twin. This is sealed up on a minute. thick protective shell. Plan to construct uh, technology capable of producing 22 minute negative time interval on Ash Twin. Every memory recorded by Nomai statue is transmitted to a corresponding storage unit within Ash Twin. An advanced warp core is proof for installation in the central chamber of Ash Twin. Another thing up into the left. That's new. No. Right, uh, right down. This? That. That's new. Is it? Yep. I don't think so. This is with the high energy lab. I think we got this with it when we went to the high energy lab. I feel like it literally just connected to something, though. Like, it literally just connected to the black hole for the Oh. Maybe it drew a point between the two, but like... Oh, uh, okay. Alright. Back to exploring, I guess. It's literally just the Ash Twin project. Look, everything else is finished. Yep. All right. So that's the giant's deep one. This one would be the last one if it was connected to something. Oh wait. That's where it starts again. Yeah, and then this right? is the, Yeah. Okay, so let's go to the Giant's Deep one. Okay. Have we been to the Giant's Deep one? We have. I feel like they're... Let's not go into it. Okay. Um... Yeah. The last one and the one... And the start are like twice as far from each other, so let's go, go to, oh, uh, let's go backwards, go between the, the last one and where it starts. Okay. Uh, right there. Yeah. Um, I want to see what happens when we get hit by the sand. Yeah, do you think there's like a hidden teleporter? I don't know. They mentioned that the uh, they're so close together that they're the center of them is the point between both of them, and the sand will get us to that point. So. Oh, so you okay. We don't die in the process. Yeah. Guess we're about to find out.
Yeah. They seem to be fine, for the most part at least. That cast me into space. Oh dear god. Oh, oh we're alive. That's a lot of damage. Barely alive. Uh, what now, Chief? Um, I'm not sure. I can hear the sun. <laughs> I guess we try to return to Ash Twin. That we go visit church. Thoughts? I don't know. I no thoughts at empty. Um, like our fuel tanks about to be empty. God. I guess head to one of those big towers. Not, not oh. those towers. The ones at the poles. Yeah. I think we've done this before. Yeah, we have. Still worth checking though. Not giving up yet. You want to keep going? Yes. Okay. So what's the plan? It's definitely got to be on Ashwin. It's got to. Go and just go back, back to the ship's log. Yeah. Because I feel like those giant fucking towers sticking out of Ember and Ashwin have to be something. We haven't done anything with them. Uh, we know the one is connected to the high energy lab. Um, anyway, here's the ship's log. Uh... Screw the, uh, screw the web mode. Go to map mode. Go to the twins. Uh, Ashwin, I guess. Ash Twin Project, central chamber inside Ash Twin was just sealed off. That's an unfortunate name for one of the... What? Ash Twin Towers? Ash Twin Towers. <laughs> Damn, dude! <laughs> You're the first person I've ever played with that just thought that. <laughs> Jesus. Several large Nomad towers form a ring around Ash Twin's equator. The White Hole Station was used as a model for these towers, which were built for the Ash Twin project. <laughs> There's been a second supernova. Uh, 
Um, okay. So, you know my plan, blah, blah, blah. Uh, the central chamber inside Ashwin has it was physically sealed off by an immensely thick protective shell. So, presumably, we'd have to, like, warp there or something? I don't know. Maybe. Um... Fuck it, let's head to one of those towers. There's one on Ember Twin, right? Uh, yeah. Alright, let's go to the one there, because we can get there at the start of the run. Um. Outer Wilds is a roguelike in my head. <laughs> True, the run. The meta progression is, uh, me knowing things. You're actually very correct. That it's a roguelike? Uh, the meta progression is you knowing things. Yeah. Of course I would know that, it's one of the things I know. <laughs> get in there. This is the high energy right. lab. That's the high energy lab? Yeah, remember? We've been here before. Okay. Can You can see the, the tower designs over there. Gotcha. Yeah. So we can... We had to get there from Sun the City, remember? There's the, the high energy Yeah, are we able there. to get to the top of this one? Like we were the ones on... No, we are at the top. Uh, what about the other one? Because there's two, right? I made it up here. Um, the other one on Ember Twin? Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure if there is another one on Ember Twin. I figured since Ashwin has two. Huh. But it appears there isn't. Well, it looks like the ones for Ashwin are at the poles. Yeah. There it is, right there. It's like nice and bright and green. What to do, Captain? Um. I don't know. I don't want to waste time on Ember Twin if it ends up being nothing, so I guess we can just chill on Ash Twin for a bit. Okay. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna spoil you for a second. Um, yeah, not for, for not for like anything important, but there's a feature of the game that you never quite figured out, which I'm just gonna show you now. Oh. Oh, is it the rest option? Correct. Thank fuck. Oh, this game was sick and twisted. No, it's actually a very, very good game. For very many reasons. And you only know about half of them. Hello, Chert. Do you like to talk to Chert? No, I think I did enough damage the last time. He doesn't remember it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Let's keep it that way. Yeah. I don't think we ever chose the doze off option. Yeah, let's doze off. How long would you like to doze off for? Uh, is this how many minutes have passed since we dozed? Let's go to two and then wake up. Sure.
Cool. We got more to work with. Not a whole lot, but better than nothing. Saved us two minutes. Ow. Oh wait, this is church ship. I got baited. <laughs> How do you get into your ship, shirt? What the fuck? Also, war. Stop that. There we go. There's two towers right here. So we know the one on Ember Twin leads to High Energy Lab, but the other two, the two on Ash Twin... Oh, you're talking I refuse... about Yeah, those. I refuse to believe they're just elevators that serve no purpose than... Aside from, you know, going up. Because they feed down into something presumably important, just like how the other one feeds into the High Energy Lab. Give us a nice view. What the fuck was that? I don't know. Wonder if it's another star exploding. I get it, bro. Oh, can we get him to line up? No, because Church's a loser and he's on the other side of the planet. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, maybe if. Hello, Sand Pillar of Death. It's not really my favorite Disneyland ride. Yeah, I mean, it isn't for a lot of people. What are you thinking? I'm thinking. Just these towers, they've got to... Nice. Hello, Quantum Moon and Interloper.
So we have to teleport. I'm just okay, piecing it together mentally. Aw, that's cute. So we have to teleport into it somehow. Because there doesn't appear to be a way to get onto it from the surface. And they mentioned the point the reception point for Ash Twin being between Ash Twin and Ember Twin. But we also know that all of the warp cores are on Ash Twin. So maybe we have to fool it into teleporting us to the place between Ash and Ember by lighting up the planets. So let's head to one of the towers. One of the equator towers? Yeah. Would you like to pick one? No. I don't have a preference. Ow. Ow. Uh, preferably one that doesn't have an open top so that when we do try and line up the teleporter we don't get sucked up by the sand. I don't think we're getting that one anymore. Does this one have an open top? No. Cool. This one it is. Um Which planet is this one? Oh yeah, this is probably, you know, it's two towers, it's probably the twins. Go figure. <laughs> Alright, I guess now we wait. And now, wait. Actually, we're running a bit low on oxygen. Oh, look at that. Looking. Just parked at a nice little spot. Uh, yeah, time. You and I got done. <laughs> Are they all part of the same song if you line them up? Are they all part of the same song if you line them up? Mm, I heard you. <laughs> I believe I started this uh, playthrough with you by saying that I wasn't going to answer all of your questions. Okay. Whoa! Uh Hello? Hello? That just took us to the one on Ember. back. I don't... Maybe we have to use one of the different ones? Or maybe we stand in the other one? This one? Yeah. yeah this one's broken at the top, but fuck it. What? Fuck it. Or don't. Because <laughs> presumably the window should be big enough for us to not get sucked into the 
vacuum of space and fucking die? Hopefully. Because if the other one was Ember Twin, then this one has to be the Ash Twin one. That would make sense. New message from Wesley just dropped. Balls. Kill him. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's now just how I have to respond to any message from Wesley. It's like, like the villain, like, like Scar in Lion King. Just like, whenever, you know, it's inconvenient, just kill it. Very calm. Not vengeful, it's just business, you know. Understandable, have a nice day. Trip <laughs> approaches. Receipts, that'd be a good word for. The opposite of You're so fucking right. <laughs> oh, here we go. Moment of truth. Bruh. Man, fuck this shit. I'm jerking off. Back to Ashwin? Yes. Let's fucking go! Okay, so we have now tried both towers. What if we said fuck it and stood between them? <laughs> okay. Surely that can't go wrong. I don't get the feeling it is going to go wrong. <laughs> Um, I think we missed it. Yeah, that's fine. This is certainly a way to get over there. I told you, I'm in control. No, I feel like... Cause there's no core underneath us. Let's go back to the Ashton one? Aw, oh, motherfucker. Wait, maybe that's what we need, actually. <laughs> Quick right. explore. Twenty minutes thirty seven seconds ago, received data from previous cycles. Masks receiving data from probe tracking module, giant steep memory statue, timber hearth memory statue. Two minutes until end of cycle transmission. Okay. Explore, explore, explore. There was a projection stone, but that's Whatever. Keep going. Words. Today we finished the excavation of Ash Twin. Here in the space we carved, we will craft our most ambitious project yet, the Ash Twin Project, powerful enough to send information back in time. We've also finished relocating all subterranean plants we met while digging. We'll need to keep our eyes on how significantly we've altered the environment here. How far we've come since our experiments in the high-energy lab, I still can hardly believe Raimi's hypothesis was true. 
Poke just sent the warp core for the final tower to us from the Black Hole Forge. Now Ash Twin can be connected with Giant Steep, where Cassava is working with Avens to craft the Orbital Probe Cannon, and where Phlox is sculpting the memory statues. Hypothesis, it was not by accident the core of our warp tower was the last to be forged. Hypothesis, the cores should have been forged faster if Cassava had interrupt the cores could have been forged faster if Cassava had interrupted my work less frequently to ask for updates. The important point is we are all connected through Ash Twin now, and also that I'm no longer needed for mediating your disagreements. Our friends on Giant Steep tested the orbital probe cannon today. Mallow tells me the cannon is doing well and that Avens advocate for more launch power. What? What? Do you see this? What about it? I, I don't know. Something's happening, bro. Uh, but then if anyone can go to the vice and exploding, that too is likely Avens. Perhaps I should check in with the local program in the interest of safety. It would help to remind Avens that Mallow is luck. Huh? No, it wouldn't. <laughs> if we book it there, can we make it back? Uh, no, because the the sand pillar has to start for us to even. Surely they wouldn't make it so you can only get there at the end of a loop, right? In worst case scenario, we can doze off for 20 minutes. <laughs> That's true. But you know, David... No. I can't do this, Bio. It has been a while. <laughs> Bio, We've been streaming please. for quite a while. <laughs> please. I think that might be a good place <laughs> to take a break. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> I think it's a good spot. I've... You can't do this to me. <laughs> do you know what I've sacrificed for this company? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're doing this, David. Fuck you. <laughs> well, thank you to everyone for joining us. I think it's a great way to end the night. Because now David's going to be chomping at the bit to play some more. And we will be back next week. And I'm very excited. Very excited. I'm going to... I want to make time tomorrow to make this a two-parter. You... We could... You... <laughs> mm, I... I think I would normally say yes, but I do have enough to do tomorrow. Fuck you! <laughs> Seriously, like... <laughs> You weasel! <laughs> well, tell you what, I will... <laughs> you really want to do this tomorrow? <laughs> if, if you can make the time. Okay. I do have stuff to do tomorrow, but... We'll see... How quick I can speedrun the things that I need to do. Okay. Here's the other yeah, thing. Yeah, What? I assume you're not blind enough to not notice how close we are, seemingly close we are, to finishing. Yeah. Like, the map is filled out. Yeah. yeah. We're coming up on the end of the game, and as someone who has watched many Outer Wilds playthroughs, the end of the game is the best part to watch. So basically what I'm saying is that I want to give all my friends that I know love watching this game the opportunity to view it if they if they would like to. Okay. So, I will let those people know tonight. Um and I it won't depend on their answers. But it will partially depend on their answers, I guess. Like I don't want people to I guess I'm going to post the video on YouTube anyway, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll talk about it tomorrow. Alright. But you're hooked now, right? You're very hooked. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. I, I finally figured out the only thing I wanted to figure out the entire <laughs> fucking game. <laughs> I know, because now you want to go back. 
But also, this is getting to be a really long episode for us. We started around 10. It's yeah. almost 1 o'clock now, so... We can make it a two-parter, but let's make it a two-parter. Yeah. There's more There's more to the end of the game than you think. Like, it might take longer than you would think. So I think it is a good, genuinely a good, good spot to stop. It, okay. This would probably go quite long if, uh, if we continued here, so... <laughs> Thank you to everyone for joining us. Thank you to Hootie and Cloudy. It's been a while. Thanks for stopping in, guys. Um, do we have any other lurkers today? Oh, lots, yeah. Ooh, yeah. more than usual, I think. Standard O1 Ella, Alice Idra, another TTT, TTV viewer. Um... Oh, interesting. I don't see that one. Yeah. Um, Commander Root, Drapsnat, John, K4C55V, Kata, Spofo, and Ziki. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. Um, and yeah, maybe maybe we'll be streaming tomorrow, too. We'll see. Um, but at the very least, we will definitely be hitting this next Saturday. Um... And yeah, we're we're coming up right on right on the very end of the game. So make sure to join us for next one because it's it should be good. Thank you, everyone. This has been a great deal of fun, and I've been very pleased with it. So I'm gonna fucking cry. <laughs> <laughs> and that is why I'm pleased with it. <laughs> I enjoy causing my friends pain. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, I do enjoy causing. Perish. <laughs> <laughs> Channel your Anakin on Mustafar. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> All right. I think we're going to stop the stream there, but thank you to everyone for joining us. Have a good night, everybody. Bye-bye. <laughs>